Grandpa Newby reporting for duty with a weapon that doesn't get the love that I think it should in Modern Warfare 3. It's the OG FR Advancer. Let's take a look at a configuration. First, we're going to update it with two items. The Quartermaster Suppressor, you guys like that one, so I put it on for you, and the Paracord Grip. What does the Quartermaster Suppressor do for us? It helps with the recoil, although Grandpa on the small maps doesn't worry about recoil at all. While it hurts a bit, the ADS speed, these are the numbers that resulted from hanging all the attachments that Grandpa hung on that weapon. I don't like the 333 milliseconds, but we can live with it. It's a pretty powerful weapon. Sprint to fire speed, though, 137 milliseconds, and that is fast for an AR. Let's look at the damage. 43 to the head, 31 to the upper and the lower torso and 29 to the legs what's the fire rate 923 rounds per minute just over 15 rounds per second so on a five shot kill in range which the effective damage range is 25 meters we're talking a five shot kill four if you can get them all in the head but let's so 15 rounds a second five and the first one being a hit scan so really you're, you're looking at four divided by 15 that's a 267 millisecond time to kill on a fully healthy enemy as long as you're not shooting through any structure. So this is a very, very powerful, fast killing weapon. And that's why I say it's not getting the love it probably deserves. Bullet velocity is 700 meters per second, which is solid. You can reach out to almost 48 meters with the weapon. Hip fire is 2.6 degrees per second. Flinch resistance is at 15 hundredths of a newton, and the tack stance is pretty good at 2.4 degrees per second. Movement speed, nothing to write home at about, and we've already gone over the handling. Let's take a look at some of the other attachments. The paracord grip, all upsides, no downsides. If you look at the recoil, the gun kick is 18.68 degrees per second. That's a very, very small gun kick with the horizontal recoil almost non-existent. Vertical recoil under 40 degrees per second. You can see that the paracord helps with the movement speed, the ADS movement speed, and significantly with the sprint to fire speed. I went ahead and hung the 60 round mag on this pig and you can see all the red that it does over there, but it puts out bullets so fast that I found myself changing mags quite often. You could go with the 45 round and it, the red is almost non-detectable during the fight but the 60 round mag I was getting multi kills with it the RMT grip and that helps with ADS minimally but 18% on the sprint to fire speed and then finally the giga comb which helps another 18% on sprint to fire so we've loaded up on sprint to fire slightly with ADS and the ADS movement speeds at 2.7 meters per second that's not great but it'll get us through a stormy night now you could go with with the FR Sprinter stock, all green, no downsides. Some aim idle sway is what it says, but it, nothing indicated here. And that helps with the ADS movement speed. It gets you up to three meters per second. And the sprint speed, it gets you up 2%, which you'll never notice. So let's have a look at the recoil in the shooting range. First, I'm not gonna try to control it from the hip. Straight up, and then it bounces slightly to the left. Remember, this is a 60 round mag, now we'll ADS. Straight up, and that bounce to the left is not as pronounced. You can see where we ended up. All right, now let's try to control it on a fully healthy enemy. And you can see that it is easily controllable. Let's look at one more thing here. My perk setup. I always go with the demolition vest in free for all. And the reason being is that I get two lethals. As far as the lethals, proximity mines for me. I go with the quick grip gloves so that I can change to my secondary very quickly. Covert sneakers to me is a must. Now here is a little jewel that one of you in the stream told me about. And that is the hacked eye. FF strobe and what that does is it keeps all of the kill streaks from zeroing in on you so the turret can't see you the helicopters can't see you 
and the jet can't see you. So that's a good one. I use the black light flashlight so I can see when the enemy steps in paint and follow them to gack them, but just make sure there's nobody following you behind you. Now you could go with the tack mask and that will help you with the stunners and the flashers and those sorts of things, but the tack mask isn't required as much in free for all because people don't tend to throw out the tacticals as much as they do in 6v6. So you may change this up a little in 6v6. So let's take this weapon onto the field of honor. See how it did for Grandpa. See what it did to Grandpa's friendly and compliant enemies. Let's go. Let's get into this. Grandpa always muppets that first kill in free for all because people will charge your spawn and you gotta be meet them with a bullet or two. That's the good way to say hello. So we got the paracord going, a little bit down on the sprint to fire with the paracord. And you can see that even with a higher recoil, although this one isn't as bad as some of the SMGs that I build in terms of the recoil numbers, not in terms of the recoil experience, which just isn't there. This thing shoots straight across the map. There, somebody stepped on a prox mine. That's why I put them out. Kind of a welcome mat. What are you doing? Don't mup it during the game. What's going on here? Grandpa is looking everywhere there. Where'd he go? Stepped in paint, but the paint disappears. That's a weird thing. So I'm sneaking around the map. Covert sneaking around. I know there's somebody there, but you always check the other lane and the advancer puts out the bullets Like an SMG only it reaches a lot for the wait a minute. That was a way somebody has a there it is a Trophy down. I didn't realize the trophy would kill the streak That's probably something they should work on at sledgehammer Oh get away from it so you can see this weapon shoots as straight as an arrow. Somebody just gacked Grandpa. I bought the farm. I didn't even get to see the farm before somebody sold it to me. And a head-on, even if the person's juking and jiving, the advancer can track them. Oh, there's somebody there. <laughs> He's just throwing out bullets and... Grandpa's willing to go give up a life to get a life. Oh, there's a fish head there. You know, when I lived in Singapore, people liked fish head soups. You'd go to the supermarket, and you'd see the fish heads there. And I actually had fish heads in curry a few times. It's pretty good. And they also, there's a plate right in the fish head in the lower back side. And when you pull the plate out, this little armored portion of the fish, the meat there is really good. I would have never known that had I not moved to Asia. Although Singapore is more like Asia light because they speak English there as kind of the national language. Anyway, back to COD and the Advancer. The Advancer is like an SMG on steroids. I don't know why more people don't use it. I don't know why he smoked because he confused himself. You know the old adage, smoking kills, and that smoke got him gacked. I generally don't... Look at that, Ironback. Ironback is in first place. I'm six kills behind. That is humiliating. There he is, smoking again and just putting out lead. Grandma can find the way back. There's Ironback. Ironback is Elvis. Little drop shot action. There's one guy. I think it was Didymus on the uh, on the stream last night. He's an Ironback specialist. I, I mean, he's a drop shot specialist. No Ironback. There's a fish head. We can make some soup out of him. Who would want a fish head skin? That, that's weird. Oh, get rid of that thing. Okay, hit it. No waste bullets. And I'm six behind when. Iron back only needs two more, so Grandpa's got to step it up here. There we go. Four behind now. Make that 
three behind. I'm putting out everything. And poor guy, the wrestling pro, runs past me. Easy gag. Oh, check and make sure nobody's looking down the long way. Throw those out. Nope, by the farm instead. So I need three gags before Ironback gets one. Throw out the cluster mine. Hopefully it'll do some work. The advancer, I saw that guy go, but I want to go to where I think more people are. Steps on a mine, and I get the gack. And then I got to put on my headset. Grandpa doesn't usually flip any, any grief there, but I'm going to let him know. I'm not going to lose to an ironback. Now, I know some of you guys use ironbacks, and okay, that's fine. But uh, I don't. So Grandpa flips it. Turns it back off so I don't get chat banned. Now, I switched the configuration here. I took off the quartermaster suppressor, and I added a, the stock, the FR Sprinter, I think it was, stock, just to get another feel for it. Because I think this weapon is just absolutely cracked. And you saw that long-range kill there. Of course, Grandpa got carded, car 98 -ed. And at 66 years old, I rarely get carded anymore, except for in COD, where I get carded all the time. Now, this lobby had a few of those guys that were ranked less than 100, but were cracked. You remember that 65,000-plus person ban? Now, I had one person in the comments. Um, how do I put this kindly? Best, if you can't put it kindly, don't put it at all. Don't say it. But uh, he told me, well, the reason why I think people are cheating is that I'm tar terrible at the game. People don't cheat. Well, for one, if you think people don't cheat in this game, then you don't follow the Twitter feed because they have banned hundreds of thousands of people in 6v6 for cheating this year. Because they announce it when they have a ban wave. I guess you can include Warzone in that. So if you don't think people are cheating, that throws a sus on you, my friend. And either sus for you don't play the game, or maybe steroids is somewhere in your strats. So Grandpa's keeping it close. I, I like this configuration. Um, the Quartermaster is fine. I've got that saved in my armory. I don't use the IFF always in free-for-all because people don't tend to put out very many choppers or turrets or VTOLs. But when they do, I have it saved in my armory so that they don't gack the heck out of me. There's an easy double kill, and that gets Grandpa ahead. Puts out the welcome mat, and the advancer is like a long-range, disgusting SMG. Of course, nothing Grandpa can do about the tire there. But somebody stepped on my cluster mines. Got a Muppet. And now Grandpa is surfing the wave here. You get seven ahead, you can get gacked a lot of times and still come out the winner. This guy's probably long gone. Nope, he's just standing there. So towards the end of this, this one, I think I got gacked like four times in a row. I usually do that to try to keep it close, right? All right, look at this Muppet. At least there are no ironbacks. And Grandpa runs to the site of his demise, proceeding to the scene of the grenade. But we're still eight up. Now we just need four more gacks before the second place person gets 14. Three. And here's where I went through my series of deaths. I'll save you from that. It's really an ugly scene. It's something that will haunt Grandpa for the rest of his life, so I don't want to revisit it in the video. Still up by nine. 
Oh, there's somebody there. Nobody's coming after me. The guy moved. There he is. Should be an easy gack. And Grandpa gets tired again. And at my age, I'm tired enough without somebody gacking me with a tire. Ah, uh, he's got to be. There we go. Oh, crossfire. Got him. Oh, oh, yeah. And that's one of the series of Grandpa's buying the farm. Just need one more gack. There it is. You can notice Grandpa's not dancing there. It wasn't really all that satisfying, even though it's a Snickers win. Hey, try the Avancer and let me know how it does for you, because this weapon is absolutely dirty. And I don't know why everybody's not using it. I'm glad they're not using it against me. Please like and subscribe. Cheers to you. And always, peace.